Good morning and welcome to the last of these Lenten Digital Devotionals for 2019. I hope that you have enjoyed being a part of the journey, at least digitally, and keeping on the path together as we move through uh, this Lenten season and toward Holy Week. We begin Holy Week this coming Sunday. It is Palm Sunday, and we are really excited uh, for that. I hope that, that you will be able to come if you are local and to bring uh, kids and family and friends and everybody that uh, that you can. It's an especially fun time to have the children in the congregation as they wave the palms and sing and march around. And so uh, this is going to be a very, very exciting Sunday for us, uh, but a, a serious Sunday for us as well as we consider what Palm Sunday really means and the irony of Palm Sunday. Uh, and that's really what I want to talk about for just a moment here, uh, is that we find ourselves in an ironic situation on Palm Sunday. As we uh, go beside the road and we uh, encounter Jesus there upon the donkey riding in and we cry out, Hosanna, loud Hosanna, and blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. And we shout those Hosannas with joy and hope in our heart for the journey that Jesus has taken all the way to Jerusalem and into the temple uh, and all of that. Uh, and yet in the midst of all of that celebration, somewhere in the back of our minds, we have uh, the reality of what is waiting there in Jerusalem, of what Jesus knows is going to happen, of what he has told his disciples over and over and over again is going to happen. We know that the crowds that are there shouting, Hosanna, loud Hosanna, and blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord, are the very same crowds that are going to shout, crucify him on Friday evening. We know that the disciples who are with him uh, there as he processes in on Palm Sunday are the very same disciples who are either going to betray him or fall away or deny him uh, when, it, when the time really comes. And so we have this celebratory kind of experience on Sunday uh, with the waving of the palms, and yet we know what is coming. And in a lot of ways, that's really the way in which we live in this world as Christians. Uh, we are a people who uh, are aware of the reality of the world around us and yet live in the midst of it as a celebratory people with hope. Uh, with joy, with the knowledge of the kingdom of God that has been promised to us and the grace that we have been given. So uh, Palm Sunday is really a wonderful representation of the mixture of uh, emotions, the mixture of reality uh, versus expectations, of faith uh, versus secular, uh, of the world in which we live versus the world in which we envision as we understand the kingdom of God. And so uh, Palm Sunday has a lot packed into it theologically and is a, a way for us and for Jesus and his disciples to start off Holy Week um, with, with a bang, as they say, uh, with a, a moment of euphoric celebration uh, before really the trudgery of Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday and then ultimately Friday and Saturday before we can get to Sunday morning. And so, so we need to, to go through that whole process together. Uh, you have stayed on the journey of Lent since the time of Ash Wednesday when we took the imposition of the ashes upon our foreheads and all the way through these weeks of journeying together where we have thought about what it means to be a contrite people, what it means to be the hands and feet of Jesus Christ in the world, what it means to be to truly in be in relationship with God and then in relationship with one another to consider our own impact in the world around us. But now is the time for us to take all that we have journeyed together and all that we have learned and pack that all into the experience of truly going into Jerusalem with Jesus. Uh, and so this digital devotion is an invitation for you to come, uh, to be a part of that processional journey to, to lift up the, the palms and to wave them and to shout Hosanna and to feel the energy of that only to feel the misery of, of Friday as well. Uh, we need that high of Palm Sunday uh, in order to understand the depths of Good Friday. 
Uh, and so I want you to uh, pray upon that, think upon that, uh, prepare your spirits for the emotional roller coaster that is going to come over the next week. Uh, Holy Week for us is not just something we do liturgically. It's not just about Easter eggs and wearing pretty dresses and nice suits and, and big hats and all of those things. Holy Week for us is an experiential uh, happening where we get to journey finally with Jesus Christ through that last week, to experience the institution of the Last Supper, to experience being there in the shadow of the cross, to experience the misery of Saturday as we wonder and wait and, and expect, and then to experience that joy of an empty tomb on Sunday. But but it all has to happen for us to truly get that sense. So, so you're invited. Uh, you are invited to feel all of the feelings, to experience all of the experiences, and know that you're not journeying alone. You journey with God. You journey behind Jesus Christ as he leads us in the way. And we journey with each other because we know that this experience is individual, but it is also so very communal. And so I hope to see you this coming Sunday and throughout Holy Week and I hope that you will experience this journey in some deep way that affects your relationship with Jesus Christ and therefore your relationship with the world around. God bless and take care. Peace.